Hello, Dr. Mintz here. This is a great case, fascinating, very unusual case I ran into a couple nights ago. I'm going to give you the uh, quick run-through here. The, this is actually the uppermost images. Uh, they had to be done in two parts. I think we missed the uh, highest level on the initial series. Okay, now here we're going down lower. Okay, cutting to the chase. Uh, the stomach here is dilated. All the oral contrast is still in the stomach. I don't see any coming out into the duodenum. What's interesting here though is where exactly is the duodenum? Do you see the duodenum coming out of the stomach anywhere? Now with that in mind, let's go up here. Okay, now let's go back down. Do you see a duodenum emanating from the stomach anywhere? Probably not. Okay, so then I thought, well, let's go to where I know it is, and we'll look by the pancreatic head here, and we know that this is the second portion of the duodenum there, and let's follow that upward, and it should become, it has to connect to the stomach somewhere, and we see this small thing there. Could that be the duodenum, this little stringy looking thing there that's going up Oh, look here, we're at the level of the GE junction, basically, the aortic hiatus. Here's the NG tube, so if we go up higher, here you'll see we're into the esophagus. So here's the NG tube coming down the esophagus, here into the body of the stomach. And this is all body of the stomach. And from this area, you don't find any connection to the duodenum. The fact is, yes indeed, the duodenum is connecting up here at the level of the GE junction, uh, up that high, because the gastric antrum and pylorus, the distal body and gastric antrum, have herniated up above the level of the diaphragm. And what has happened is something called, is called mesenteroaxial valvulus, so the stomach remember the stomach has this curvature like this, has twisted upon itself. It's a volvulus, so the usual configuration like here, here's the fundus, body, and antrum, has rotated around its axis like that, caused a twisting. At the same time, the, body, the uh, gastric antrum portion, the distal stomach, has twist, twisted not only up, but above the diaphragm as a hernia, and this causes a, a volvulus, a twisting right here, and that's what we have right here. So in fact, this is the distal body of the stomach. Here is the gastric antrum, believe it or not, and this is duodenum kind of coursing around there and it's very hard to even find it in that area, but it's right here. And if you follow that down here, that comes around as the second portion of the duodenum. So this is the rare mesenteroaxial volvulus. And here I would recommend you go to uh, this site on... Uh, learningradiology.com. They have a nice review, but this is a nice simple description of how there are two ways the stomach can rotate. One is like what you've just seen here, and the other is where it flips upon itself. What we have here is the less common mesenteroaxial, where it's rotating around this axis, and it's going like that. The other type, where it starts like this then flips over, is more common, and both are potentially very serious. This case is unusual, partly because the patient has very little in the way of symptoms, and this has actually been present for months now, kind of intermittently giving the patient problems. So let's go quickly then to... Here are the axial images, and then take a look here at the coronal images. And now you can see this is the, pro this is the uh, proximal stomach, the gastric fundus and body are here. 
and then the distal stomach has twisted upward and it's above the diaphragm and this structure right here is actually that first portion of the duodenum that's stretched as it's trying to reach to its connection with the stomach here. Very unusual, fascinating case of mesenteroaxial volvulus of the stomach or mesenteroaxial gastric volvulus.